Lots of people love to take a trip out to antique markets, but are they going armed with the right knowledge? Brian is helping us develop our designer eye with his tips on repurposing salvaged finds. Let's check it out. When you're building or renovating a house, don't think about buying all new materials. Think about architectural salvage. Now here I'm at the door store, one of my favorite stores, and they have everything you could want when renovating or restoring a house. Now they have a lot of fireplace mantles, and look at this one. This includes this over mantle with the columns and the carving and the mirror. Really incredible, a lot of different fireplaces. Now this is what I love, this archway. So but if you have a long living room and dining room and you want to break them up, think about using this. Wouldn't this be fantastic? Or maybe against a wall and the fireplace is in the middle and this frames it. I just love it. Now one of the things you'll see a lot of are light fixtures. And there's so many different light fixtures. You have these beautiful crystal light fixtures which could be from the 1800s. And then you even have deco fixtures. This could have been in a diner or schoolhouse fixtures over there. I love those. They look great in a kitchen. All of these would be great in a kitchen or a bathroom. Now one of the things I really love, I saw when I came around here, is this bay window. It's a complete bay window. And if you hung this on the wall, this would make a great cabinet. I just love it. And just, you can leave it the way it is or strip it. Lots of columns. And these columns are great just as architectural pieces in a corner, maybe lit up, or as pedestals. Or if you're, you have a porch or an opening between two rooms, maybe put them on bases and that defines the rooms. Now, it doesn't have to be a big item like a door or a fireplace, it could be hardware. And I love these letter openers. Look at this one. They're all different. Some were from houses, some were from offices or banks. And then door knockers, a big trend nowadays instead of the doorbell. And look at these beautiful old door knockers. They really make a statement on the door. They're like jewelry for the door. I can't miss this while I'm going by this beautiful archway in the green. It can be stripped down to its original wood. Now, everywhere you see, cabinet hardware, door hardware hooks, and look at this, just bowls full of crystal and amber and glass door handles, and over here all the brass and the carved brass and the cast brass. Really a treasure trove of hardware, and this really can upgrade any door by putting this hardware in. Also when we looked at the Art Deco light fixtures, sometimes you have a fixture that the glass is broken, the shade is broken. You can get some of the shades here also. So there's a variety of all different types of early 20th century glass shades. looking like your happy place. You were having a good time in there. I love the door store. They yeah. just, you go in there, anybody that goes in there goes, wow, look at this stuff. Yeah, but you have to know, like you have to know what you're looking for and, and that's why we wanted to do this so you could help us out because if you walk into a place like that and you don't know what you're looking for and you're not armed with the right knowledge, it's just overwhelming. Correct. So if you want to add vintage into your home, where do we start? Well, start, you can start small. Yes. So we have items like this, which are beautiful old door handles. Oh, Look at that crystal gorgeous. knob. And even if you Look want to this. start little, that would be great in a bathroom, like yeah. your bathroom door handles in crystal. This is like very dynasty. Very. Remember Falcon Crest? Oh, I still Dynasty. Uh, and Joan Collins. And Joan and dynasty. Collins. Where well, we're getting off track, but this would be her door But this handle. was a good time? <laughs> Would be. It so would look be. at look at how grand that is. Yes. And if you really think about it, your main floor doesn't have that many doors. Most are quite open, like the living room doesn't, the dining room. That's you have true. A closet, powder room, things like that. Yeah. So you can go for it. Look at that, and look at this front door handle. This from the oh my the 20s. So this is yeah, Art Deco. That's beautiful. And these you just can't find things like this, and they're surprisingly affordable. Some are a little more expensive. Okay. But if you're only buying a few for the main floor of the house. Go for it. Think of it as jewelry. Exactly. So you might have a discount dress and you want to dress it up with some designer jewelry. That's Correct. kind of what you're doing with these beautiful, with this beautiful hardware. Okay, these guys. Look door at these knockers. door knockers, these old door knockers. Yep, I've got one. Scares me every single time people use it. And you've had it for 12 years and you're It's still been scared. a long time. Yes. But it's like, I'm like, use the doorbell, would you? <laughs> but they're beautiful, beautiful to have. So all of these will add a lot of pizzazz to your front door. So if you have an okay front door, yeah. paint Paint it a color, put a great handle on it, put a door knocker, and I always use nice. um, mail slots. Mm -hmm. I don't really use mailboxes a lot because 
if you're away for the weekend or you're traveling, mm -hmm. you don't want people to see no one's home, the mail is overflowing yeah. in the mailbox. Right. So I see, even if you're just at work for the day, someone says, okay, the mail is in the mailbox. No Always have home. the mail slot, so everything goes in. No one knows if the house is occupied or not. That's right. Very smart. What would you use a bracket like this for? Because this ad adds instant sort of old world charm. Well, in my kitchen, I did one of these for the island. So I, I mounted on the side of the island oh, and nice. then I extended the counter. That's nice. And this held up the counter. So yeah. this is a great way to do it. Or these can just be shelf brackets in the den yes. um, or either side of the fireplace. Lovely. Okay, so we've started small, even with the vents. I mean, even how gorgeous vents. is that? The floor vents that you get from the builder will never be that beautiful. Just like, wouldn't that be those are. so nice to replace them with that? Okay, so the, the kids these days, it's about secondhand everything, it's about vintage everything, but also when we think about antiques, are they as popular as they once were? Because there was this whole thing about antiques at some point, then it kind of went away. Is it coming back? It did, you know, it went away up here. Yeah. But you had places like Atlanta, Texas, they always loved antiques. Oh, okay. And then we got into, you know, the mid-century stuff, the modern stuff, yeah. and now people are rediscovering this because there really is a soulfulness. You don't want your house just to look like everybody else's. Mm -hmm. You don't want the same furniture. You know, you're seeing the sameness. Yeah. So you don't have to do a lot of this, mm -hmm. but just do a few things. Yes, and when you were looking for a piece, what are we looking for? Well, you have to decide what you want. So, yeah. for instance, I love to do, when you walk in a front door, most houses have just, you know, the typical builders, closet doors to yeah. the, the front hall closet. I often will put antique doors on the closet door. Now, you can That's do beautiful. formal ones, you can do casual ones, mm -hmm. but it looks like an armoire when you walk in. So sometimes yeah. I'll build out the frame a bit and I'll do two antique doors at the front door instead nice. of, you know, the typical doors. Um, so so you have to measure that. So make sure you have the size yes. of that. Because like a place like the door store would have hundreds of doors. Which is great because if you have a house like mine built in 1905, there's not one door in my house that's the same. Right. So you actually do have to go and get measurements and it's good to know that there's all these doors out there outside of the standard Correct. Uh, door and you know, range. There, was a, there were two beautiful, incredible pine doors, very formal doors, and they were very tall. And yeah. I, thought I could use them on a closet. I could do the frame higher when you open the closet there's the lower you know yes. wall there but as long as they cover that it looks so that's cool. lovely so you could do different sizes too so beautiful a lot of people wanting to bring back um, stained glass into their worlds how would you do that well you it's great if you have a bathroom window and you don't want to do a window covering you could do a stained glass window yeah um, I find we you can even buy a medicine cabinet and put this on top of it Ooh, that's nice um, you can hang these in front of the windows and yeah. this one in particular would make great they had a ton of these if you're doing a new kitchen, maybe your uppers are old leaded glass oh, windows. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Very cool. Okay, so are we, is this like buying art? Are we looking for something we have some kind of an emotional connection to? Completely. It's like buying jewelry or vintage jewelry. It doesn't yeah. have to appeal to everybody. It just has to appeal to you. Good. So, so you, you bring your personality and your emotional connection into completely. it. Completely. If you want a fireplace mantle, even if you don't have a fireplace, yeah. you want this as a focal point, this is a Victorian mantle that's been stripped. They had all different mantles. You can find them on all different websites. It's but you beautiful. could fill this with the ends of logs and just put them against the wall. It'll look like a fireplace. It creates a focal point. So yeah. you... A lot of houses just have like a brick fireplace. Get yeah. rid of that. Right. <laughs> Drywall it and stick a mantle on. And it's so Intricate easy. Intricate with easy. tons of personality. Finally, if you're looking for a lighting fixture, what do you want to think about? Well, you want to think about what, you're, what the effect you want to be. Here's like an old factory light. This green mm -hmm. one is a factory light. This is an old gas lantern that's been convert to electrical, old schoolhouse lighting. This would be great over a kitchen island. Nice. I think these would be great over a kitchen island. This is a wall sconce for outside, or you can hang it over your stairs. Beautiful. Okay, before we go to break, let's get some more tips from Brian's trip to the door store. Look at the height of this door and all the carving on it. Really is a statement piece. And this iron balcony railing, I just love this. This would be great in a garden or if you have a balcony from one room and looking into the foyer or another room. Such a beautiful piece. Lots of different doors, so not all that height. You've got shorter doors here. Some are stained, some are painted, and some have ironwork in them like these. The ironwork can be painted any color. Now, these would be great for closet doors, so when you come in your front door, instead of your typical house door, maybe you do some signature doors, your closet door, maybe build it out a couple of inches so it almost looks like a piece of furniture. Now, we were looking at iron, lots of iron gates. So these are great for gates or to put on if you have a glass front door. These also make great coffee tables. You can put them horizontally with metal legs and a glass top. They look fantastic. 
Now, these are great doors, these leaded glass doors. These would be great for kitchen cabinets. If you're building a new kitchen, maybe build the boxes around those for your upper cabinets. You can use leading, or you could use these old exterior wooden windows. I think they would just add such character to kitchen cabinets. The best tips. Let's go.